Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on all the cleaning products that I use and like. I don't use them all the time as in some of the items are stuff that I only use so in, when I have to use it once in a while. So don't think that I literally carry around all this clean stuff all day and clean my house with it all day long every day because that is just not happening. If you do enjoy this video at any point please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when I next upload a video. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the white vinegar spray. You can get this in Home Bargains, b and you name it. You can even get their own one in Wilco's. Um, this you can get in quite a few places. It's only a pound. This might be actually cheaper, actually. I'm not sure if the Star Drops one's cheaper. I can't remember, like 8 9 p But in general, it's like 8 9 p to a pound. This here is like miracle stuff, and it is also really safe for you, so it's not toxic cleaner. It's not got loads of chemicals in it. It's just white vinegar spray. This here can be used to shine up taps. Let me show you closer what it is before I start talking about it. This here, I shine taps with mirrors. I use mirrors, windows, and all of that. And you can either use it with the, um, the microfiber cloth to wipe off, or if you've got like blue roll, like kitchen roll basically, but the blue roll is better, then that will wipe off and it'll be smear free. But this here, yeah, it's really, really good and also really good for your drains. So if you put it in with bicarb and things like that, it's really good to clear out drains. Like that. It's also really good to um, with your kettles. It's really good with that to clear them out with vinegar spray and then it's not a toxic thing that you're putting in sort of thing. So I use this literally daily. This is one of the things I use daily because it's such a good thing. So yeah, white vinegar spray is my top number one cleaning product that I like to use in my home. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is the Star Drops 4-in-1 Disinfectant Spray. It's the Pine one. This here is, again, I think this was 89p, and it's so good. What I use this for, well, it's disinfectant spray, so you can use it pretty much anywhere. But what I particularly use it for is my sinks um, and things like that, because it takes all that bacteria away, because obviously it's disinfectant, and it smells really nice. I mean, I don't know if you like the, the smell of pine products, but I do. Um, and it is really, really nice, and it just clears everything up like really nice. And that's what I generally use this for, for the kitchen and for the um, sink in, in general, like in particular. So, yeah, I like that one. Staying with the kitchen, although I use the white vinegar spray all the time, this is really good as well. So that's like a non-toxic thing to use. Um, and this obviously is a cleaning thing. Uh, it's got chemicals in. But it's the Sif Stainless Steel. I really like this, again, for taps. So... If in particular, like I, I don't use this all the time, I mainly use the white vinegar, but if I do, sometimes I decide to use this one. It is really, really good. So that's the stiff stainless steel that will do all your taps and things like that, and all of your sink area, and it will buff it up really, really nice. So if you prefer not to use white vinegar, then you can use that, that is really good. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Astonish Mold and Mildew Blaster. This honestly is really, really good, and this is really strong as well. So just be careful when you use this because it is really strong. If you've got mould around your bath, you know, the ceiling and things like that, it's really good to use this. Put it up, spray it all on, leave it and leave the room. Air out the room as well. Open up windows if you've got any windows. Completely leave the room. Leave it for a good while and then go back to it and give it a good scrub. If you can't get the mould off, I'm going to go to this one now. If the mould doesn't come off straight away, this is very intensive cleaning, by the way, so you must be protected when you do these things because it's bleach. So then if you don't, then what you do is get cotton wool pads, wet them with water, and then soak them in this, which is your Harpic whitening bleach. You can use any bleach. You don't have to use this one, but I particularly like this one. Um, it, and if you, what you do is you get the cotton wool pads, wet them a little bit, put this on them, and then wedge them where the mould is, and then leave that overnight if you can. If you can leave for 24 hours, when you take it off, it will all pretty much, it'll all be gone. I mean, I'll be surprised if it's any bits left, but if there is a little bit left, do repeat the process. Honestly, it gets rid of mould. So if anyone needs to know how to get rid of mould, that is a number one tip if the mould and mildew don't work. So I like this. This is the particular bleach that I like down my toilets um, when I give it a good scrub. But I will show you what I actually use daily on my toilets, but this is more of a monthly use because I'm going to show you how I actually clean my toilet daily, which is a little bit more hygienic than using a brush, yeah. 
So I will quickly talk about what I daily use on my toilets. It's a lot hygienic. You must have seen this on some of my cleaning videos, but if you are new here, this is what I'm going to show you. It's this little gadget here, and it's actually called a duck. It's called the duck fresh, um, the duck fresh brush. I have a lot of questions about this, and I will leave a link below to where you can get it from. But you can get it from supermarkets and Wilco's and things like that. It is so good, and I'll show you this. Look, this is the action of it, if you can see. And these are the pads. So as you can see on the picture, that's generally what you're going to be doing. So what you do is, I'll give you a demonstration. You take one of these, you open it up like so, and then you close it with the little button there. You then, this has got all cleaning stuff in it, you clean around the toilet, wet it a little bit, clean it around the toilet, and then you just go like this. So I'm going to do this. And then it puts it into the toilet and then you flush it away. It's just a lot more hygienic and it smells really nice. I would highly, highly recommend this. So this is a gadget and this is the refills. Um, so yeah, they do do deals on um, in some supermarkets. I will leave a link to it if you don't go to supermarkets because some people only online shop. So I will leave a link to where you can get it from in case you can't find it as well. So I really like that. It's one of my favourite things from when I clean every single day. The next thing I'm going to show you is the Flash Bathroom Spray with Febreze. I've used this for years, absolutely swear by it. I actually use it around different parts of home too because I really like the smell. But yeah, it is a bathroom spray, but I do like to use it in other places, which is fine because you can use other things, you know, even though they might say bathroom, it doesn't mean it has to just be for the bathroom. But if you like the smell of it and it's gone clean, you can use it. This helps with soap scum and things like that. So it's good for the bathroom, but still you can use it elsewhere. Don't worry about that. You can pick these up for a pound. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is this fire cow. This is the fresh one with breeze. It's the lime scale remover. This is really good for taps if you've got a buildup of lime scale, things like that, or just anywhere where there's a buildup of lime scale. Really, really good. Spray it on, leave it for a minute, like leave it for a little while, come back to it, scrub it. Then it sh the lime scale should come off. Again, guess what? What a surprise, my battery died again, right in the middle. So you will, it might make a difference to you, you don't have to wait, but I've had to wait, but it's fine. Cracking on, let's go. So the next thing that I love cleaning with is this carpet stain remover, and it's got the little brushes like that. It has been used, by the way, hence the reason it's not in brand new condition, but I didn't buy it for this video, I actually use it. That's exactly my point, is to show you my actual reviews on this. And it's the Dr. Beckman Carpet Stain Remover. Can't fault this whatsoever. I've used this for years. I've mentioned it in previous videos if you're not new here. But basically, this here is life. When you've got um, kids that you've they've done something like drawn on the, on the carpet, oh, that's annoying, that one. Um, this comes up really well with it. You have a spillage, this comes up really well with it. If the dog has an accident, this comes up really well with it. So I can't fault it. And all you do is you squish. You've got to make a little hole in the bit. Get this, squish it with your hand, and then brush it like that, and it comes out of here, and it scrubs it out really nice. So I do highly recommend this. You can get some Wilkinsons. Don't know where else you can get it from because I've always only bought it at Wilkinsons, but I'm sure you get it in loads of places. I'm sure Home Bargains does it. I'm sure B and M does it. But yeah, I personally get it from Wilkinsons. That's where I usually get it from. So yeah, this is really really good. I like this one, so I highly recommend it. This thing is actually my new favourite find, and I've I've replaced it in my head with Sif. So mine used to be SIF for like the cooker, things like that. And I even use this for the sink sometimes as well. So you can use this for absolutely anything by the way, but anyway. It's a cream cleaner, but it's the pink stuff cream cleaner. So it's, you know, like the pink stuff, the paste. Look how bad it is where I've used it so much. Um, it's the Miracle Cream Cleaner. I have told you about this in previous videos, but if, like I said, this is for some people that might be new. Um, this is really tough on stains. It comes up sparkling clean. It makes it sparkle really nice. And you just, what I personally use it for is my cooker. So I'll just put um, a, a reasonable amount on and then I'll get my scrubby thing, usually like my minky or something like that. Scrub it up and then turn it over and wipe it off. And it just wipes off really nice. I did used to use Sif. I don't fault Sif. Sif is nice. But since I found this, this was a pound. And since I found this, I am in love with this. It honestly does bring up your cooker really nice. I mean, you've got tough little stains. It does pick it up. So that's my new fave, fave cream cleaner. The next thing that I like is, again, another carpet thing. And it's the Carpet Power Lift Stains and Spills Fast. I'm sure I've got this from all concerns. I can't be sure. But this is, again, another one like tea stains. It says red wine, pet stains and odours. So, again, if you've got a dog or a cat that maybe has an accident or children that have spilt their drink and it's like, oh, my goodness, 
this is really good to bring it up as well and it wasn't expensive for either i can't remember exactly how much this one was but i, I don't use this one as much as dr beckman um, I still use it um, if I want to do a full-on proper get in the upper stain. It's really good to do a double action if you like. So use a bit of that, use a bit of this. It's a carpet cleaner. It does the job. So, yeah, these are really good for spot cleaning. You know, like spot cleaning the carpets if you don't need a full-on clean of your carpet, obviously. Yeah. Going along the same lines with carpet cleaning, um, it's this Carpet Fresh 1001 spray. You must all know about this now. Um, but I like the pet one. Obviously, it's pet friendly. I have a cat and a dog. Um, so this is good. It eliminates odours. It's the tile fragrance and this is literally life. I put this because you can put this on um, It's not just for carpets. You can put it on upholstery and stuff. So I put it on my sofas, on my car, um, on my curtains and things like that and it just smells absolutely unreal. So yeah, I pick this up every time that I'm in a B&M, home bargains or anything like that and I absolutely love this. So I do highly, highly recommend it. And it's also my favourite smell as well because I some people throw other sp um, smells but that's the pet one and it is the best smell anyway, so I love that one. The next thing that I like to use is this Duck Fresh Strips. They're just for the toilet, freshens it up nice. They last for a while, pound and they're free. You get free in there and they're a pound. They're pine fragrance. They honestly smell really nice. My friend actually introduced me to this about three or four years ago um, and I haven't, I've, I've used this ever since basically. This is what I use. These are the things that I love. They're only a pound, so not, not um, expensive at all. And you literally just peel it off the thing, stick it on the toilet like so, and it just keeps your toilet fresh whenever you flush it. So the next thing that I want to show you is this Fabulosa. I really like this Tranquil Haze at the moment. This is my favourite one of the Fabulosas. I'm loving it. It smells so nice. Such a fresh, fresh smell. And what I do with this is the same as what I do with the Sephora because it's the same thing. I also like the Country Garden. I know this bottle was empty. It's a sad time. I need to get another one because Country Garden is actually my favourite. Although I do like the pet one, Mountain Air. That is my absolute favourite, the Mountain Air. But I can't seem to find it recently, so that's a bit annoying. But basically, with this, I just dilute a capful into a squeezy spray bottle so you can get them out of them. Um, Home bargains, 49p, things like that. And then I dilute it. So I put water, so one cap four and dilute it the rest. And then I just literally clean around the house with this little bits. It's a disinfectant, so it does the job of taking away bacteria and things like that. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I also use it in my spray mop, um, diluted. Um, I, yeah, I'll do all sorts with this. This is really good for the floors and for the surfaces and things like that and for my dining room table. So if you ever see my cleaning videos and I sort of shake a bottle that looks just like a, a clear bottle, it's got this in it or it's got country garden in it. I do try to show which one I'm using in it, um, but it makes your house smell so nice after. So yeah, Fabulosa, the Tranquil Haze is my favourite at the moment, along with the Country Garden, but I've run out of that, so I have to use this one. But Mountain Air, I've got to say, is one of my top, top favourites, and it is pet friendly, so I do like that one, and I prefer to use it. So that's the nut one. The next thing is one of my favourite things, and that's the bicarbonate soda, right? So I'm going to read you here what this cleans. It says, use this powder as a mild abrasive to clean cooker tops, sinks, and tiles. Sprinkle directly onto the surface and wipe over with a damp sponge or cloth. For extra cleaning power, mix dry pack borax substitute and cooking salt in equal quantities and add a small amount of water to the cleaning paste, apply to surface and wipe off. To deodorise, because this does a few things, this cleans and it deodorises things, right? So to deodorise, you can, what I use this for as well, because I get a few of these packs, and then what I do is I take off the top, put it in the back of my fridge, and it soaks up all of the odours, and that's what it says on here as well. So it deodorises fridges, to remove the top of the packet, that's exactly what I do. Um, and then you do this about once a month, so you replace it once a month, usually, and um, that's how much it takes me anyway. Um, the other thing is, which I use this for a lot, is for plug holes. So empty, this, en empty the packet into the plug holes or drains followed by hot water to help keep them clean. So this, someone did comment on one of my videos saying that isn't it soda crystals you need to use you can use soda crystals or bicarbonate soda it's the same thing it will do the same thing down your drain holes um so yeah you can also add it to your bins and your dust bins pet litter trays which is the one to eliminate the odors and then it's got a whole bit about sinks pour two or three tablespoons of bicarbonate soda followed by an equal amount of white vinegar this is another thing that i do 
down plug holes to keep sinks and baths clean and odour free. The fizzing action will help to remove the build up. This is also good to mix up and use for your oven cleaning. This cleans up the oven really nice. It cleans up pretty much a lot of things. The other thing that we use this for is for um, my partner Jonathan's um, trainers. So what he does is you can even put some, that's another thing I do. So let me just explain. I put some in the washing. I always put some in the washing, especially white washing because it brings it up whiter. And basically, with the, his trainers, we'll put his trainers on a wash, but we'll put some of this in with it, or we'll soak it, or we'll get the paste, make it a paste, and rub it all around the trainers, because he's got white fabric trainers, um, and then put it in, and it keeps them white and doesn't turn them yellow. So it also, he also uses it in between. So when he's got little marks, he'll go and scrub it with a bit of um, bicarbonate soda mixed with a bit of water, and it will just keep them white and not turn that yellowy colour. You know when you've washed them and they turn that really bad yellowy colour? So I know I've been requested to talk about that, so I've just explained it now. That's exactly how it's done. So use it for trainers, use it for so many things. I'm always running out of this. Well, I'm not because I'm actually now starting to stock up on this because it's one of my main things. But it's only a pound and it's really safe for you because it's bicarbonate, so it's not got all them horrible chemicals in and things like that. So it's a really nice natural cleaning product and it works really, really well. Next thing that I'm going to talk about are these Erase Away. I did just buy these ones in Home Bargains. You may have just seen the video. Um, but I did have the Panelon ones before. But the reason why I'm not showing you the Panelon ones is because they do break. Um, I'm not sure how these ones will react. Um, but basically, I think a lot of these do just break. Um, I think the Flash ones might be right. I'm not sure. But I've not tried the Flash ones, so I can't comment. But um, these are seriously, seriously good. All you need to do is wet them. And what you need to do is wipe them onto, like... Your walls, so if you've got some marks on the walls, I've always got marks on the walls where I have white walls, the majority of my walls. My kids are always walking past and putting their fingers and fingerprints. So that's another thing that it's good for. They're good for light switches, just with water, little bit, literally dump it with water, wipe it, it comes off so easily. Honestly, really, really good. You also see me look at, um, using this in a video before on my cooker. I was trying to use that without using chemical. It does bring it up nice, but I would advise you to use something like this pink stuff if you've got really, really stubborn stains, but this did work just as nice, to be honest with you, just with water. And again, I'm trying to explain that. I'm trying to use, sometimes not use as many chemicals at once. So I'm trying to use maybe every other clean, like big clean, I'm going to try to use non-toxic just to see if I can clean it like that, just to eliminate the chemicals out of the house. Um, so, yeah, basically, that's that. Um, so, I haven't actually tried these ones yet. I don't know. They seem thicker. They are thicker, actually, than the Poundland ones. So, hopefully, that's good. And, yeah, just wipe down do cupboard doors. That's what I was using it in a video before as well, just wipe down my cupboard doors. And it does come off so easily. No scrubbing needed, none of that. Um, yeah, I just thought they were really good, so um, I thought I'd share them. They are good, but they do break, and I'm not sure about this brand, but I know the Pound Lamb one does. It doesn't really matter if they break, but obviously it means you don't get a certain amount of use out of them, which is a bit of a pain. But yeah, I do really like these. The other thing, this is not actually cleaning, but I really want to mention it. It is cleaning, sorry, it is. But I'd, anyway, this here is the Wilkinson's, it's the Wilco, sorry, Wilco um, Concentrated Fabric Conditioner. It's the Exotic Yang yang is it and freezier scent right now this here honestly open it oh it smells really really nice and i'm telling you i can't remember exactly the price but it's really really cheap it is so nice with your washing i've discovered this not long ago and it's honestly really nice my favorite favorite is spring awakening probably um or the comfort the other one and um, that i like but since i've discovered this is really nice i'm sure this was about a pound by the way so i'm sure they do bigger bottles as well so this is really nice in with your washing, obviously. Um, but it's also nice when you, obviously, if you know Mrs. Hinch, you know about the whole putting it in. It's not just, when I say if you know about Mrs. Hinch, I, um, it's just because a lot of people would recognise it from what she done. So, um, you know, like a little spray bottle, dilute some in it, spray it around, or dilute it in a little Tupperware or a bowl, uh, wipe your skirt and balls it smells really nice it's a little trick that is really really good honestly it's, if you love the smell of washing then definitely do it and this is a really nice scent so i do highly recommend this as well so the next thing that i'm going to talk about is a room spray and i've talked about this before but it's the pink peony up from um, primark home range and this is just so nice once you've finished cleaning you've probably seen this in previous videos if you're not new here if you are new here this is what i use to spray around everywhere once I finish cleaning all the rooms and it's so strong and smells so lovely. I also spray this on my fake flowers so that they smell like they're actual flowers, if that makes any sense. So I've actually got fake peonies as well. And now, now they smell like 
real peonies. So I always, every day I always spray up my flowers just to make them actually smell, if that makes any sense. Um, if I don't do that with this, I usually then do it with the diluted fabric softener because I love the smell of washing as well. And with that diluted fabric so shop, um, wash, fabric wash, no, fabric softener, I spray up my sofas and that as well. And my beds, I like spraying my beds with the fabric so um, softener because diluted because it just then smells, everywhere smells of washing. And who doesn't like the smell of washing? I love it. I'm one of them that the washing comes out, I have to smell it. <laughs> I have to let it go. I know I'm a bit of a strange, strange person, but yeah, that's what I like doing. Let me know in the comments if you do, or if it's just me, if I'm just a weirdo. Uh, but yeah, so that is all of my things that I'm going to talk about today um, for cleaning wise. It's most of the stuff that basically I use. I don't use them all on a daily basis. I have mentioned this before, because if I used all of that on a daily basis, my house would be like, whoa, too much is going on. Um, but I've showed you some of the stuff that you may only use once in a while, like for example, mild mildew and the bleach, I tend to not want to use the bleach as much um, because it is so strong and it gives me a headache because it's such a strong product to use. You really only need to use bleach if you really have to um, in the home, especially when you have kids and pets. But yeah, basically, I'm not really a fan of bleach smell as well. Some people are, I'm not. I prefer smelling nice fresh smells like flower smells that's, and washing and things like that. It's like just really nice smells like that is what I prefer. I've included some things that are non-toxic as well. And I've included things that um, you can use daily and stuff that are when you've got stubborn stains in certain places, you can use it. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any products that you particularly use that you highly recommend, leave them in the comments. I would love to try them out if I haven't already. Um, and yeah, everyone else can try their, they can also look in the comments as well and they might get some ideas, like any ideas of what might get a certain stain up and that you do, or anything that will make something smell nicer of what you do. So yeah, um, I would really like you to hit them, hit the comments and go in there and have a little nap over between yourselves as well as with me. I like talking to you all, so please leave a comment because I do like to reply to you all. Um, so yeah, if you did like this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when I next upload a video. And for now, I'm going to go and I'll see you on my next video.